I'll always love my mama. She's my favorite girl. I'll always love my mama. She brought me in this world. You only get one, you only get one. But if my mama was that crazy woman, Sue Ellen, and that crazy film starring Octavia Spencer called Ma, I would ask to be adopted. <laughs> or I'd run away from home. <laughs> What's up, y'all? This is Ty. I just got back from seeing that crazy film, Ma, starring the one and only Octavia Spencer, who we know from, we best know her, she's a great actress, by the way, I love her, but we know her from The Help, where she played that uh, character who put that little, you know, put a little something, something in the pie, and so she's here now playing, I believe her name was Sue Ellen or Sue Ann, something like that, Betty Lou, whatever, doesn't matter. Betty Lou, Maddie Sue, Sue Ellen, something like that. Lou Ann, whatever her name was. She was crazy. She's playing this lonely, pathetic woman who really much, pretty much doesn't have any friends. Lives in this small town. Has this job with her boss played by, um, who was that? That's um, Stockard Channon, I believe. Treats her like a pile of crap, real mean boss. Like she just, you could tell she's just lonely, don't have no friends, ain't got nothing going on, ain't got no man. Probably ain't had sex since they killed Biggie back in 95. I mean, they set that up. They established that pretty well, that this character, Ma, is just a loner and a loser. and Just kind of pathetic and sad. So you kind of feel sorry for her. So... She's minding her business, and we see these teenagers, and they want someone to, um, they're trying to, they're standing outside the um, liquor store. They want someone to buy the alcohol for them so they can go party up in the woods. Woohoo! You know, when you come from a small town and you ain't got nothing else to do, all they do is have sex, drink, smoke, have some more sex, drink, smoke, oh yeah, and go to school. So... <laughs> They are trying to get an adult to um, buy the alcohol for them. And this is what kids do. I actually experienced this when I was in my 20s. I think I was like 21, 22. And these kids stopped me. I could, they were teenagers. They stopped me and said, Mr., can you buy some cigarettes? Now I was offended because I'm like, damn, I look that old to you. You calling me Mr.? I'm only like 21 myself. This is back a little wells while back i'm like i'm only 21 myself what do you mean mr me i look just as old as you do but they must have thought i was this they, well i was of age i was old enough to buy it but i didn't y'all i didn't buy it for these teenagers i told them i was too young and they were like no you're not i was like you know what whatever but it's not about me let's get back to this movie but just that scene reminded me of that where these teenagers was trying to get me to buy them cigarettes and I was like nah I'm not old enough <laughs> and I was like 21 but I'm like you know when you in your 20s you were like wait a minute I, they ain't look that much younger than me for them to be asking me okay I'm getting get back on track Ty get back on track back on track that just that scene just reminded me of that but these teenagers I must say have to be the dumbest group of teenagers I ever met because it's like nobody heard of Stranger Danger. Y'all just going willy-nilly. Okay, she bought you the alcohol. Mom buys the alcohol for them. Right? Then she's like, oh, you know what? I can, you know, you guys, y'all need to be safe. Y'all can come on back to my place. Come on back. No, 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 lady. I don't know you. Let me tell you. That wouldn't have been, this movie would have been 30 minutes if I was in. <laughs> I'm not going. I would have been the character that... There should have been at least one character in this film that should have been like, nah, I'm not doing that. They should have wrote that part. That that would have been me. I would have been like, nah, I'm not doing that. I don't know you, lady. I mean, someone does say that. I don't know you, lady. But then they're like, but there's free booze. Oh, let's go. Woohoo. No, 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 no. I don't know you. Your house is up in the woods. You, you're driving that ugly car. You got all the signs of a psycho. Listen... To this, I'm a grown man. I don't go to everybody's house. To this day, I don't go to everybody's house. 
why am I making this about me? <laughs> I don't go to everybody's house, but it's a movie, Tyrese. It's a movie. Go, go with the movie. Go with the movie. So, <laughs> Ma is hanging with these teenagers. They're coming over her house. They're partying. They're drinking. Now, I said I wanted to see this movie because the previews had me so. But the previews, I guessed what was going to happen in this film just by watching the previews when I saw the trailer. I knew it was going to happen because I think they showed a little too much. I knew. I said, I bet you Ma was a nerd or a geek back in the day. And these teenagers are the offspring of her classmates. And now she's getting revenge because they treated her like crap back in the day. And now she's going to take it out on their children. I knew that. And that's exactly, basically what it was in a nutshell. And I'm like, okay, see, maybe they showed too much in the previews. But anyway, Ma is hanging out with them and admiring them. And they're just not, these kids are not smart. Once one or two of them, a little, they're, not that, they're not that smart. Stop going there. Don't go to the lady's house. Especially there was a scene where she did something in the very beginning that would have had me like, oh, see, that wasn't a joke. I didn't find that funny, Ma. I, I'm going to leave. I'm, I'm just going to have to leave. I'm going to have to leave. But um, Octavia Spencer, let's talk about her performance. Great actress. I felt her pain. I felt like, yeah, this woman is a loser. She's a loner. But one of my issues was I felt like when they were doing the flashbacks of young, young Ma. Y'all like that, how I did that. <laughs> when they were doing the flashbacks of her when she was a teenager and what happened to her as a teenager. I felt like the flashbacks weren't strong enough. I felt like... Yeah, they flash back on what happened to her. But um, it just wasn't enough for me. I feel like she was humiliated as a teenager by her peers. Yeah, she was humiliated. But to me, this didn't warrant the behavior that she gave. Like, I felt like something was missing. Like, we needed more. We needed to see maybe her mother or see her get tortured. or something. Like, to me, I felt like Ma should have had a stronger backstory and a stronger reason. It just feel like, yeah, you got humiliated, but that doesn't equal what you're doing to these people. But I get it. You know what I'm saying? If that makes sense. I feel like, to me, the flashback should have showed more, like her getting teased by the kids and her, now I'm, I'm rewriting the movie now, her getting teased by the children, her being uh, maybe be abused by her mother or parents, and then showing her like... Um, because we, they, she mentioned she had a husband in a failed marriage. Show us that. Give us a flashback of the husband. Like, show us what made this woman get to this point of the crazy that she is now to make her feel so hurt. I feel like I wanted just some, a little bit more of that. Also, I wanted Ma to do some more killing and more, she did some crazy things in here. Don't get me wrong. She, she, she had a little fatal attraction vibes going on. She had little hints of Carrie, Carrie. Remember Carrie and Carrie was. But I wanted just more. I think they should have just put a little bit more. I know some people that didn't like the film. They thought it was corny. I enjoyed it. I, I just wanted a some more. I wanted a more crazy. I wanted her to be a little bit more over the top. I wanted her to kill more people than what she killed. Am I starting to sound crazy now? Is Am I making sense, y'all? Y'all let me know. I wanted her to do more. More, Ma. More. And I wanted things, some things to pay off more than they did. And, um, yeah, I'm pretty much, that's, that's pretty much my issues with the film is, but I enjoyed it. I still enjoyed it, but I was just looking for more. I just wanted a little bit more. Flesh out the characters a little bit more, especially her background. Give me some more. What happened to Ma? Show me Ma as a child on Christmas and something her father did or something her mother did. Show me more things that those characters did to her when she was a teenager to piss her off, to take her to this boiling point. Where's her husband? Did she kill him? What's going on? You know, we find out some, we do find out things when they do, these kids do go up into upstairs 
in the forbidden parts of her house instead of staying in the basement. But even that, I was expecting, hmm, she probably got a torture chamber or something upstairs. There needed to be something, you know, more than what they showed. Like, I wanted her to be over-the-top crazy. She was crazy, but I wanted her to be, like, I just wanted, <coughs> I wanted it fleshed out a little bit more. Um, the ending was okay to me, but even I, 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 even the ending, I just, I just needed to just bring it up a notch, make it crazy, make this a thriller of all thrillers. But it was, it's something about Octavia Spencer though. I liked her. She was engaging. I liked the rage, the little bit of rage that she did show, the little, you know, little stares that she would do that showed that she was crazy. But I'm like, if I was the director, which I was not, so I would have been like, I'm, I'm not Tate Taylor, sorry, but I would have been like, give me more, push it, push it, just drive it on home. So, I mean, because I'm into those type of things. I like films like that. That's just, you're going to go crazy, go crazy, take it all the way up. Go, go up to level 20 with it. Go up to level 20, just lose it. And this had the potential to do that, and it didn't. So for me, it was still decent. I still enjoyed it. I would like, I would have liked, yeah, I, I kind of want to, I don't know why I want to see, what is with me and, I'm about to tell all my own business, but I was, <laughs> I was about to say, what is it with me and crazy women? Yeah, I'm telling, but that's none of y'all business. Mind your business. We're not going to get into that. Let me stop rambling. But I felt like, I want a franchise. Am I doing too much? I just want it more, you know. I'm like, make her a horror character. Mars Mar's just going to nonstop. But I don't know. I don't think there'll be a part two to this. But it was decent. I enjoyed it for what it was. Um, tell me what your thoughts are. What did you think should have happened in this film? Um, did you like it? Um, do you agree with me that this should have been a little bit Look, put it, send it, take it all the way over. I mean, it had some crazy moments, but they they kind of came towards the end. But it, to it need to be crazier. So that's pretty much it. I would say, Ma, I would still tell you to go see it, especially if you like Octavia Spencer. She's a great actress. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I really did. So that's it. Thank you for watching. Please comment below. Let me know how, your thoughts on this film. Check out my other videos. I promise to be more consistent on here. I've got a lot going on, but I promise to be more con consistent on here. And that's it. You be blessed. I'm out.